guys and welcome back to this segment on our channel called answering your most googled medical questions by Hari Gastro and today's video is a very freaky and interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we'll explore the question, what is Rapunzel syndrome and why do some people eat their hair? In the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, the trapped princess Rapunzel lets down her long luscious hair through a tower window so that the handsome prince can climb up and rescue her. Named after this fairy tale, Rapunzel syndrome is an extremely rare medical condition where the hairs a person has eaten become deeply tangled and trapped within their stomach cavity. Rapunzel syndrome is an extremely rare condition most commonly seen in adolescents and young females with nervous psychiatric disorders. These individuals compulsively swallow their own hair, which is medically termed trichophagia. The majority of these individuals initially suffer from an irresistible urge to pull out their own hair, and this is called trichotillomania, or a hair pulling disorder. And once these individuals pull out these hairs, they usually ingest them causing a gastric trichobazor or a hairball to develop over time in their stomachs. So the reason that trichobazors actually develop in the stomach cavity is because hairs are resistant to the digestive enzymes and unaffected by the normal contractions of the stomach owing to its slippery sort of nature. As a result of this, the ingested hair fibers can become trapped in the stomach clump together and form an actual mass made up of hair, or a hairball. Almost all patients who develop trichobazores or Rapunzel syndrome are usually also clinically diagnosed with a psychiatric disorder too, such as pica, which is the craving of non-food items such as cloth, wool, hair, or even small metallic objects, depression, anorexia nervosa, or obsessive compulsive disorder. So the clinical picture is usually scarce in the early stages resulting in common delays of diagnosis, but symptoms will develop as the trichobazor enlarges and begins to cause obstruction. Possible signs and symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, GI obstruction, patchy losses of hair which may be indicative of trichotillomania, and peritonitis which may develop as well. There may also be evidence of weight loss in these patients, anorexia, halitosis, and pain related to eating of meals. So in a clinical setting, trichobazores may be suspected based on a patient's history with disorders like trichophagia and trichotillomania, as well as the clinical examination of the patient. A mass may be felt over the abdomen on physical examination, and the diagnosis of the syndrome can also be done by endoscopy and a CT scan which is recommended to determine the size and the extension of the trichobazor. So because the human gastrointestinal tract is unable to digest human hair, all trichobazores have to be treated surgically. This involves the removal of the mass by careful extraction from the stomach and the duodenum and if the mass is small enough it can be removed endoscopically. Once the mass surpasses greater than 20 cm, it must be removed by laparotomy or open surgery. Patients usually also require psychiatric evaluation and treatment due to the association with impulse control disorders, especially trichotillomania. Long-term follow-up as well as psychiatric consultation is also recommended to prevent the event from repeating. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explored the basics on Rapunzel Syndrome.